what's going on guys well it looks like it took long enough for this situation to fall apart because this situation has been falling apart for quite some time and it actually goes back to a video i did about a fitness model who's in her 40s right who put alex rodriguez out there as somebody that she was uh, trying to hook up with right and one of the reasons why she said that she did not want to uh, get with him is because he wanted to have a three-way right with another woman and she felt disgusted by that but anyway apparently j-lo and alice rodriguez are officially broken up and there was also another situation that was going on where you had this particular female that uh may or may not have had an affair with alex rodriguez and this this story has been popping up uh here and there and i kind of just sort of waited for more information to come out because i really didn't want to have to go and make a video about him possibly maybe cheating with another woman if that wasn't true but the fact that him and j-lo have broken up lets you know that those rumors may have also caused this marriage to disintegrate because i had heard that they kept putting off the wedding too and i think it also has a lot to do with the fact that i don't think alex rodriguez wants to be married again and maybe to a certain extent j-lo doesn't either but j-lo loves getting married but you also have a j-lo who's putting up semi thirst traps letting you know men know that she still got it at her age but let's get into uh these particular articles especially the one here uh from uh, tmz it says j-rod is j dunn jennifer lopez and alex rodriguez are over they called it quits after four years together sources connected to the couple confirmed to tmz the superstars first got together in 2017 and alex put a massive ring on it in 2019 as you can see there all right unclear what caused the split i think i may have a feeling uh, we're working on it we're told they broke up friday the two have started wedding plans before cv hit in early 2020 but the obvious but obviously the pandemic situation threw a huge wrench into their plans no the quarantine probably did it as well we got to give this quarantine credit for ruining relationships and marriages like it's march and they said you know what we i don't want to do another year in a relationship with you if we have to be in on restrictions right because certain states have certain restrictions you're going to be in the home more and i don't think these couples can take being in the home together anymore right well they might be in florida so i don't i don't think they have to deal with it so they're in florida but again you had the quarantine situation things opening up but things are not where it was pre-cv right uh, a rob posted photos of himself on a yacht in miami early friday saying don't mind me just taking a, a selfie a selfie selfie i guess what are your plans for the weekend the last time he posted a photo with jennifer was february uh 28th she's from she's in the dominican republic filming a movie while he's staying put in miami the split comes shortly after claims he got cozy with southern charm star madison La uh, lacroix uh, a Rod's people said they never even met but the story circulated well you know with their smoke there's obvious fire right before that they were exploring buying the new york mets together and had railed and rallied some of their very rich and famous friends to put together a competitive offer but it didn't pan out i think they both want this celebrity relationship everybody want to be jay-z and beyonce everybody everybody want to be jay-z and beyonce they want to have this celebrity relationship j-lo is known for that j-lo has always wanted to have like the famous boyfriend or the famous husband now she that was a time when short time 
and she did not want that. But for the most part, this is what J-Lo's want, J-Lo wants, you know. Um, A-Rod has dated famous people, but it never, uh, it never really got to a level of being engaged to them and wanting to marry them, right? Because he's been married before, and he's kind of still going through some things with the ex as far as money situation. The last time we saw J-Rod in action was at President Biden's inauguration when Jennifer performed and the two of them looked very much in love. Oh, there's nothing like the inauguration of that guy in order to bring these people together and then to tear them apart. We broke the story. The couple bought a $40 million home together on Star Island in Miami last summer. And page six was the first to report uh, this particular breakup. And as you can see, that's Alex Rodriguez on his uh, uh, boat and, you know, him just <clears throat> being there. All right. Now, I want to come back to the situation because I saw a couple of different articles about how he may have been, you know, may or may not have hooked up with this particular female, Madison. Right. So I think it goes back. I think that this relationship was on thin ice even before the CV. But, you know, Alex Rodriguez, to his credit, he is a guy who's all about image. You know, Alex Rodriguez is an image guy. He cares about his image. He cares about how he is portrayed. So he always tries to portray himself as a guy who is in a relationship. He's happy. He's making successful business moves because for a short for a while, his reputation was sort of in the dumps a bit in the latter part of his career. But as time went on, he was able to sort of shift from being an active player to being sort of like a baseball analyst, right? To going in this next phase of his life. And people have sort of warmed up to Alex because during his career, because he made so much money at such a young age, and for a, a, a big part of his career, he was known as the, the next great baseball player. And he always had to be very conscientious of his image. And getting with J-Lo, I think, helped that. But he also still had to deal with his ex-wife and her money demands. And I'm pretty sure, and J-Lo even had gotten involved in that. Right, she got involved because she's very inches, inches, very image conscious. <laughs> she cares about her image just as much as he do. And you got two people who love the cameras, who love the spotlight, and are very much so caring about the image. But this relationship was a dunzer. I would say months ago, but they kept it together. They kept it together, right? She, you know, he's in Miami. He's getting ready to start back, you know, with baseball. She's filming, right? Now, let's look, let's look at this article right here from Arsenal. Southern Charms actress Madison LaCroix has had a busy week after being smack dab in the middle of the Jake Cutler, Kristen Cavallari drama. LaCroix is now being tied to another former athlete. On an episode of Southern Charms, it was revealed that LaCroix was having an affair with an ex-MLB player. The affair allegedly took place while Madison was involved with fellow cast member Austin. Uh, LaCroix claims that she exchanged text messages with the mysterious man, but they never ended up meeting. Another member of the crew, Craig, wasn't buying it, calling LaCroix an effing liar and a home wrecker. When a reporter asked on Conover's uh, Instagram teaser, who is the MLB player, Madison's sister chimed in, shutting down the idea that it could be Alex Rodriguez, because A-Rod is not married, she, uh, she proclaimed. While A-Rod is not married, he has been with uh, J-Lo for a long time. It's looking like the man who Madison LaCroix was cheating with was not Rodriguez. For all those Southern Charms fans out there, uh, keep guessing. Yeah, you know, it just seems she's an attention seeker. Uh, we all know this. But 
I think this played a part into the final nail in the coffin to this relationship. You have the situation with J Lo getting involved with the custody situation, not the custody, but with the uh, financial situation with his ex. You also have the fact that uh, they're both a very, very conscientious of their image, you know, and, and and that could be a good thing, you know. She keeping herself in shape. Uh, he, you know, he's keeping himself not only in shape but also financially keeping himself going, right? And of course, she's doing the same. And they both want to have this perfect looking relationship, but on the inside, I don't think that relationship was perfect at all. You know, they kept it together as long as they could, but now that baseball season is ramping back up, he's not going to be able to be at home and she's back on the road. So they say, you know what? This is a perfect time uh, for us to just call it quits. You know, you're filming a movie. I'm about to get ready for this baseball season. You know, I think it's just time to call it quits. Let's just go different places, right? So I would be very interested to know what J Lo's next move is. You know, because she's putting up the thirst. She put up the thirst trap. What February twenty eighth? That's the last time they were actually uh, pictured together on social media. So I mean, there could be a new guy. Listen, women don't. Women never leave a relationship unless they got somebody else in the wings you know so